Hello. It has been an interesting week, to say the least. Well, it's the end of week two now, and we've had some interesting developments. First, let's start off with weight. I've lost none. Nothing, not even a little, not even, I've actually gained a pound and a half. Don't ask me how, we'll get there. Second, I said in an in a video recently, hey, my head has been so much better. And so, yay, things are going in the right direction, right? Wrong, hanging out. It was just another day. I had a cluster headache, which we're used to getting, right? Common. Um, and then I developed this headache in the afternoon that I've never experienced before. And it was like sudden, severe, blinding pain. I could only liken it and describe it as the worst headache I've ever experienced. I took my hair down and put on a hat because I just can't handle the way I look on the internet. So it was really weird. And I had to like have Zach go run downstairs and go get me a hot pack for my head and ibuprofen. And I, I try not to take ibuprofen if I can. So we did that and I was like, holy moly. So I woke up the next morning and I was like, what was that? Cause it was like sudden severe, bad, bad, probably just, it's just like unbelievable pain. My entire head. And I don't regularly get headaches like that. Cluster headaches are just right here and right here. It's just almost like a straight line from my neck to my eye and that's it. It doesn't affect the rest of my head at all. So when I think, when you think headache, I think the rest of my head feels perfectly fine and it only hurts right here. The next day, my friends come over and I haven't seen them in a while. We're gonna have like a BFF hangout day. The day is going well. Everything's fine. Eating extremely healthy, like avocado, blueberries, and a couple of farm fresh eggs for breakfast. And then for lunch, I had chicken, spinach. Like we're talking like really healthy, right? So everything's going fine. We go walk around the nursery. It's super cold outside, but still we get some dinner. We order barbecue and um, I start eating the dinner. And in the middle of eating, it was like my head exploded out of my face. Like we're talking so it was just like I was sitting at dinner and I was like, oh my God. And I had to like walk away, immediately take a bunch of ibuprofen, sit down on the couch with a heating pad on my head. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna freak out. It just like came out of nowhere. And I've never experienced like headaches. I can, you kind of feel them coming on. You're like, oh, I didn't have enough caffeine today or, and so I was like, holy shit what is going on? And I had just said like, oh, my headaches are better. I, I did what I shouldn't have done, but it was actually a good idea. Um, I went on Google and I looked up, when is a headache concerning? Like, when do I go to the doctor for a headache? Cause I have a headache condition, okay? Bebby's been a neurologist. I've been a neurologist for the last 12 years. Cluster headaches are completely different than a regular headache. And actually when I saw a neurologist recently, she said, there's no such thing as a regular headache. And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, no, there are like primary headaches, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and it said, if it's new, sudden, severe, and like, you've never had one before. Like it's, it's like unusual. And I was like, yeah, this is literally all of those. Like it just would take me from like sitting and talking to like, I need to call 911. And that is so rare for me to have a headache. It's like puts me in that frame of mind. So the next morning I woke up and I went to urgent care. I didn't have a headache, but I just wanted to get checked out because it's just not, it doesn't feel right to have head pain like that and not go. So when I went to urgent care, they got me in and they were like, oh, you are not exaggerating. Not exaggerating. She's like, you're not overreacting. And I was like, that is really interesting to say to me. She was very concerned when she heard about all this and she immediately sent me in for a stat CT scan of my head with contrast dye. And that was weird. So then I headed to the doctor. They did the CT scan with contrast and blood work. The CT scan, thank God, came back clear. They said no signs of aneurysm. That was what she was concerned of is like a brain bleed or aneurysm. She called these headaches thunderclap headaches. And my goodness, what in the world? I cannot, I cannot for the life of me think of what was causing these. Nothing about anything had changed other than eating really healthy, drinking more water, taking supplements. So I started taking vitamin D and magnesium. I've taken them before. It shouldn't cause anything like that. I have no idea, you guys, like not a clue of what's going on and why. Um, so I didn't have a headache yesterday and I don't have one. Well, I'm getting a cluster headache this morning, but that's neither here nor there. That has nothing to do with it. So yeah, it's really weird. I don't understand it. Don't know why this happened, but hey, I jinxed it. I was like, my headaches are better. 
and then the second that I said that. To the ER you go. Yeah, that was a weird thing that happened this week. That's why I haven't made any more videos because I was like just dealing with these stupid head things and then it was just a lot. So, but otherwise, as far as the challenge is going, up until I went to the hospital, which was gay before yesterday, I was going strong on no social media, still drinking my water, still eating my diet, everything like that. So everything in that regard has been good. It is like six degrees outside, so I haven't been doing any outside exercise, but we've been trying to learn some dancing. So we've been doing a little indoor exercise that way, I'm trying to learn how to line dance, all right? And um, it's really fun really 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 fun and um me and zach are trying to learn how to line dance because it is it's a freaking blast but yeah as far as um staying off social media goes fully off of it for 12 days and then i used it when i was at the doctor's office and i was just sitting in the waiting room they didn't have any magazines or anything to do so i did sit on my phone a little bit in the doctor's office waiting room for about an hour. Um, and that was day before yesterday. And then um, yesterday I did as well. Um, I shouldn't have, but I used it for probably like an hour and a half yesterday. And I didn't like that. My niece's birthday is coming up and we're doing a classic, classic English rose tea party theme for her. And so um, yesterday me and my sister went out and we we are looking for really nice like teapots and my um, contractor, you know, that built the this and basically remodeled this entire house. His wife, who I just love dearly with my literal entire heart, she's just the best. She gifted us an entire tote full of like beautiful vintage teacups. So it's literally perfect. And the decor style, what we're gonna do for it is we're gonna put out these two large like banquet tables and cover them in linens and table runners and so many flowers and teacups and like we're gonna have finger sandwiches and tea and everyone's gonna dress up really sweet and it's just gonna be so cute and like have little macaroons and little sugar cookies dipped in white chocolate that are shaped like tea bags and me and my sister like okay a couple things if there is anything that you need to know about me is that there is no bigger joy in my life for some reason than decorating for a party I don't know what it is, where it came from, and why both my sister and I have it. But I'm talking, we are literally obsessed with making a party. I don't know why. Every episode that ends of Corey Carson, he wants to watch Peppa Pig, but then when I go try to turn it on, he's like, actually a little bit more Corey Carson. <laughs> Like, okay. The idea of decorating for this party and like there's just something about it. I don't know what it is. I want to be a party planner, but where we live, nobody's gonna plan parties. Like nobody's gonna the budget, I feel like I, I could do it in like LA. People would pay like what you would need for like a really good party there or something, but like I love doing it so much. Like the tablescape, the the decorations, the food, the vibes, like Oh my God, I love it so much. Anyway, her party is coming up this next weekend. So today is Sunday when I'm filming this and on Saturday is her birthday. And I'm so excited because this is gonna be like so much fun. It's all girls that are invited and they're all gonna wear their fancy dresses and drink tea. It's just gonna be so darling. I literally cannot wait for this. So that's coming this upcoming weekend. And so me and Katie went out yesterday and we're like looking for linens and we found some really good stuff at Goodwill. I do have to say I just can't really believe how much money Goodwill is still like nothing is cheap like it used to be like everything used to be like oh this is like 60 cents or like a dollar and I saw there was a teapot there yesterday and it was $25 for a teapot at Goodwill that was donated to them for free I could go on a tangent about this I actually have a video idea that I want to make it's called Goodwill are you okay and I want to like dive deep into why these businesses are so corrupt in so many ways because everything that they get is donated to them and then like they go under the guise of like these training programs and teaching programs and they're pocketing all this money and it's just like I can't I can't I can't it makes me so upset because literally you are meant to be here for people who cannot afford to like shop at Walmart or whatever and I've seen things at Goodwill secondhand that are more expensive than brand new at Walmart and that's like it's criminal so anyway I digress, but we did find some. You okay, Bubba? Are you okay, honey? Okay, baby. He's so cute. 
I love him so much. It's just like a side note. We went to the store the other day. I actually made a TikTok about this a while ago where I was talking about how we went to Costco and he was waving hi and saying hi to everybody and nobody said hi to him back. It was like really weird. He was getting like, why is nobody talking to me? And I was like, literally, I don't know because people are antisocial weirdos. But we went grocery shopping the other day and we went on a Wednesday at 10 a.m. That is the time I will be going forever because it was like early bird special. It was all grandmas and grandpas, the whole store, just grandmas and grandpas. So not only did people talk to him, it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like he saw this lady and she said, I hope you're having a good day. She was like a sweet little old lady. And he goes, what's your name? <laughs> so cute and she goes i'm carolyn and then he goes i'm let's just say his name is peter parker his name is not peter parker but i don't share my son's name online i'm peter parker he said his real name obviously hi i'm peter parker he's so cute and everybody just literally dies when they talk to him because he says his first and middle name He's never just first name. It's always first and middle name. It's so effing cute. Oh my God, I could literally throw up. He's so cute. And then he saw this lady walk by with a dog and it was like a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel little dog in the cart. And he goes, Owen's oh, dog. And, I, and it, the lady heard him say that and she goes, she's very friendly. She was like a little old lady. And he goes, what's her name? She goes, her name's Millie. And he goes, oh, Millie. You're my best friend. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God. And the lady behind her who had no affiliation, like wasn't with the other lady. She goes, did he just say, Millie, you're my best friend? I'm like, yes. She's like, oh my God. It was so fucking cute. And then he goes, we were walking past like the bakery section and there was, he saw a chocolate donut and he goes, can I get a chocolate donut? And I was like, sure and so I go to grab it for him and there's a guy standing there like an elderly gentleman sitting right there and he goes good choice and my son said hey that that big guy said good choice and he did it in like a he did it in like his voice and then he goes the guy started laughing and he goes what's your name my son loves to ask everybody their name and if he doesn't know it he'll say What's, what's his name? And I'm like, I don't know, ask him. And he goes, what's your name? He always does it. And the guy said, my name's Dean. And he was like, have a good day, Dean. <laughs> so cute. He's so, he's so funny. What are you eating? What is that? Huh? Spit it out. What was it? A tiny car. A tiny car? Yeah, don't do that. Right, I need to go make him some food. But anyway, he's absolutely so darling and hilarious. And we went out yesterday with him and my sister got to see it because we went to a couple stores with him and he was just doing the same thing, asking everybody their name, having conversations with them. He's so polite, so sweet, so cute that it's just like, it's darling. It, it, it could kill you. Anyway, so week two, we're going strong. I've gone even harder with kind of closing in my diet. I had one day where I was like, you know what? I'm just going to eat whatever I want. So I ate a sandwich, like a homemade sandwich a cereal that night. And the next day was the day I had the thunderclap headache. And then the day after that, I had another thunderclap headache. So I don't know if there's any correlation between like an ingredient in the food that I ate. Maybe it was just because it was really heavily carby. Maybe it was because there's wheat. I, I literally couldn't tell you. What do you want to eat for breakfast? Oatmeal. Oatmeal? That sounds good. Yeah, I have no idea what the correlation was there, but there's definitely something to the fact that I had a day where I was like, screw it, I'm eating whatever I want. And that next day was like a really, really, really bad. I also am about to start my period and my period is like five days late. No, I'm not pregnant. I just have really irregular periods again these days. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna try doing this week is eating things in a different order. I saw that there's like this doctor on Instagram, I just started following her and she, or maybe she's a dietitian or a doctor, I'm not exactly sure what she is, but she like measures glucose spikes in the blood and I have insulin resistance. So it's something that I should be paying attention to. And it's not about what you eat necessarily, it's about the order you eat it in. Like she shows, this is just an example. Like if you're gonna eat a salad, and pizza. If you eat the pizza first and the salad second, you'll get like a huge blood sugar spike and it lasts way longer. But it's there's something weird to eating the salad first 
and then the pizza. You're eating the exact same foods. You're just eating them in a different order and it does something like the eating the veggies first like slows down the way that it spikes in your bloodstream. There's all kinds of scientific studies for this. Like same with even drinking like vinegar. Like you put like a tablespoon of vinegar in water and drink it before each meal and it lowers your blood glucose spikes by like 30%. So I think I'm gonna try to do like strategic like look and see if there's like a way that I can continue eating the same foods that I'm eating but eat them a little more strategically to where they're like lowering my blood sugar or like not spiking my blood sugar as high. Although I did just get blood work done and my blood sugar was normal, which is good. Also, I will say that I, in my blood work, she noted that I have a high white count. She was like, you have high white blood cell count. And if I'm looking back at all of your blood work, you've had this since 2015. That could be concerning. I want to refer you to a blood specialist. I'm like sitting here like nobody has ever talked to me about a high white blood cell count. Other than when I was pregnant, they talked to me about it, but she also kept telling me it's very common in pregnancy, very common in pregnancy. But now they're telling me that I've had this since 2015 hello and it's really high like what in the whiskers and she's like this could be you know could be a number of things it could be stress do you smoke i'm like no i don't smoke she's like hmm it could be stress it could be you know sometimes it can be things like leukemia but you know it also can be things like there's a really big difference here between stress and leukemia and you telling me it could be leukemia really makes me feel stressed <laughs> So that's good. I do follow up with my primary care doctor tomorrow and um, I'll bring this all up to her and we will get it all scheduled and figured out. But as of now, we're going with end of week two. I'm doing well on the plan other than two days of more social media, but I'm gonna cut that back today. Back to reading books instead. Back to just good productive things for my brain. Still continuing to drink water. Still, Oh, she was like, yeah, the high white count can be like if you have an infection or or blah, 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 blah. It's like, if I had an infection since 2015, like I don't, I mean, I have inflammation constantly. Am I constantly stressed? Yes. But also I think that I have something else going on. I don't know. I'm going to maybe go back to that functional medicine doctor. We'll see because I think I have Cushing's disease. Okay. And this isn't like a health anxiety thing. I literally fit the bill. I fit the bill so hard for Cushing's disease and um, my cortisol comes back fine. So I don't know. It's really weird, but I literally look like a Cushing's person. So heavy. Like I have all of everything. I have everything Cushing's. And also when I got some of my blood work done last year from the functional medicine doctor, two of my Lyme disease markers came back positive, but you need five to be considered positive, but two of mine came back present. So that was weird. And she said that I should probably eventually go get um, Lyme disease. Was it, she called a PCR? Something like that. Like a, another Lyme disease test. So, and then I have a saliva cortisol test that I need to do this. None of this pertains to YouTube, but I'm just sharing everything because I don't care. Like I'm one of those people that's like, oh, let me just share it because who cares? But other people are like, this is way oversharing. And it's like, yeah, to each their own. I get it. It could be totally oversharing for the internet. I don't care. I don't care. I used to care. I don't care anymore. You know why? Because I don't. It's my life. Sometimes it's beneficial to talk about things. Yeah, sometimes it's not. So I, I, um, all I do know is week two, going strong, still seeing no results. That's okay. This is a long-term gain. It's always a short-term gain, long-term loss. This is the exact opposite. I'm going to have good results. They're just going to take a long time because they are lifelong treating my body more poorly. And now we're going to reverse that, but it's going to take some time. I've been eating extremely healthy and actually enjoying it. I've really even tightened up more, removing, because I was like eating like half a bagel for breakfast. And then it's like, no, girly, no. Let's see if wheat is causing issues. It might not be, but let's see if it is. So um, yesterday I ate like for breakfast, I had avocado, blueberries, two eggs, and a little piece of bacon. And then... For lunch, I had a big salad with some turkey chili and zucchini. Then for dinner last night, I had chicken and um, it was like a roasted whole chicken that my husband made with um, some organic potatoes. So keeping it healthy, you know, I'm just kind of trying to like minimize ingredients, keep it whole foods and yeah, we'll see. So week two, end of week two, I'm 194.5. So I've gained a pound and a half since starting and I feel only all right. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>
We should bring it outside by the that pump house. Oh, we should? Yeah, we should break it. No way! It's a beautiful green vase. I like it. <clears throat> Me too. <laughs>